I put at the bottom what I think is the key question. How can it be possible to organize the interactions between adult and child such that two steps in development are created out of one step in learning? That's really the challenge for us all to think about. How do you arrange for that kind of multiplier effect in instruction, which I think is what everybody is looking for. With Manilenko's work, where you take young children, let's say three-year-olds, and you contrast them with five-year-olds and eight-year-olds, roughly. With one group, you give them the task of standing still as long as they can. So you just say, okay, Igor, stand still. <laughs> Stand still as long as you can. This is a competition. Let's see who can stand still as long as you can. And all the little kids do that and you time them. And then either with the same kids in a counterbalanced order or with a different group of kids the same age, you say, okay, everybody, we're going to pretend like we're the honor guard outside of Lenin's tomb. Remember, this is 1939, <laughs> something like that. And nothing gets them to move and they stand there for hours. So when you run the experiment, what you find is that little kids are itchy, scratchy, and the play doesn't help them at all to stand still. Play, play acting standing still doesn't do anything for them. The five-year-olds, the play actually helps the five-year-olds. They're itchy, scratchy too, but they are into play now, really. And they, they, through the play, can master their own behavior and stand still. The eight-year-olds can stand still long, for a long time, and they don't need that play situation in order to be able to help them. Right? So what you have in that middle range then with the five-year-old, you have, I did parallelogram of development, but you also have this very tender zone of a zone of proximal development where you can think about, well, what are the reorganizations that must have gone on? Because standing still isn't just doing more of what you were doing. It requires now voluntary, some kind of voluntary control, learning to control yourself from the outside through the play then internalized, then the eight-year-olds have internalized that, so they no longer need that.